Hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with 4AM Junk Journals. I am here this morning to do some art before breakfast with you. Hold on just one second. Um, okay, so like I was saying, I am here to do art before breakfast with you. You will be seeing this video on Wednesday, uh, June the 7th. I am actually filming it on Tuesday. I had gotten a couple of days ahead, but I kind of slacked yesterday. So today I'm filming tomorrow, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, but let me tell you, I have a crafting problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. It is absolutely amazingly wonderful. I am in a group junk journals craft some more you guys have heard me talk about them probably a thousand times at this point or at least two or three times a video um and i like to do swaps i like to do the sunday shares i like to do the thursday wishes i like to do all the things but what that means is that i get a lot of things in the mail which is wonderful and exciting and fabulous and i love it but <laughs> I also have to use those things and what I've been doing is just storing them in this binder so basically this binder has these little bags that I got from Timu um, I will try to remember to link those below for you um, but it has these little bags that I got from Timu and in each of these little bags is the things that were sent to me by a particular person at a particular time so, for instance, this one was uh, from Jodine, and it was a Sunday share from March 5th. Okay? And so everything in there is part of that. If it doesn't fit in there, like this, in this case, it's clipped onto the bag that has the other stuff in it. So, um, my goal for today is to use some of this. Um, so we're just going to randomly choose a bag. I'm going to flop this open to a page. We're going to grab the first bag and we're going to make a project this morning for art before breakfast. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Okay. Well, it won't turn, but we've got a page picked out here. Come on, turn, 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 turn. It's stuck. I've still got my hand on that page. There we go. All right, so this is what we've got. And this one is from... Let me just move this. <laughs> They're coming out again. Shoot. It's all right. I'll fix it later. I think what I need to do is just put them on some rings as opposed to in a binder and um, hang them somewhere. I think that's what I'm going to do because I have some large rings. I may need to buy some bigger rings, but I think that's what I'm going to do. This one is from Sandy Granger. And this was a Sunday share. I don't know from when because there's no date on it. But let's see what we got. Excuse me. It's coffee time. Okay. So she sent me a collection of these postage stamps. Looks like there's about six of them. And they're super cute. And she sent this little coin envelope. Now, I don't know that I want to use all six of these stamps on one project. Um, kind of like to hold on to, you know, when it's all the same thing like this, it's like, well, you know, I want to use them on different projects. But that said, let's go ahead and do something with this um, and make a project and then I can just save the remaining ones.
Now what I might do is just make a pocket for a journal with this. I can glue it down into a journal like that and decorate here and maybe I don't know if I'll want to remove that flap could glue the flap down like that and then I could flip this up in the journal also or I could glue it like this have a pocket here and a belly band here or I mean a tuck here which seems like probably the coolest idea out of the bunch let's do that okay Let me see if I have some paper I want to use here. I also have a bag over here that's my use it up bag. It's basically got stuff in it, mostly scraps and stuff, but stuff that I want to get used. Um, let me actually, I have an idea. Give me one second. Okay. Got this team of paper. <clears throat> Got this Timu paper and we can use say something like this. Okay. Like right about there. start by gluing this down Now, we're going to just glue Thank you so much, Sandy, for sponsoring our art before breakfast this morning. I really have been super excited to use up some of these um, things that have been sent to me, but I just never seem to get to it, you know? Not because I don't want to, I just never seem to do it. right across the top there so that we have this okay. so far so good right and we have several to choose from we've got this little fairy 
we've got this little fairy. We've got this little fairy. And you know what might be fun is to go ahead and use three of them and then save the other three. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Put Sandy's thing back there. Um, so we will have at least used the coin envelope and the three fairies. Okay, I need... I need to go ahead and ink. Let's do that before we put the fairies down. Um, and then we might ink again. But just bring this paper over here. And we can use it. I also want my one inch hole pie. Well, we're not going to be able to do the, the thumb hole because I can't find my one inch circle punch. Anyway, I may come back and add it later if I find it. Okay. You guys see my little, sorry, I digress, but I've been working on uh, slides and this is one of this is the one that I started with. And I'm using these microscope slides that I got at the uh, thrift shop and some stickers out of my one of my sticker books. It's fun. A week from tomorrow, my daughter will be here from Florida. I don't know how that's going to affect my filming schedule. I'm going to try and film ahead so that I can, you know, if it does affect it, um, we'll still be okay. I know it will at least part of the time because we're going to do a little um, Airbnb just for the two of us for a few days. Um, hang out, do some reading, um, you know, just mom and daughter stuff. Um, so I know that's going to happen. So that'll that'll kind of interrupt for a few days, probably two, maybe three. But I plan to be have enough filmed ahead that you guys will not even know I'm gone. I was going to take a nap this morning before I, before I went to work because I've been up since midnight. I don't know if it's going to get done or not. Okay. I like that. What do you guys think? I mean, I'd like it better with the thumb hole. But now what I want to do
is so that I remember when we go to put it in a journal. Is I just want to write on the back of it. Sunday share. Envelope and stamps. Sandy Granger. And that way, even though this is going to get glued down into a journal, I will be able to look when I'm putting it in the journal and know where it came from. But I'm going to leave it like that. I mean, it's fairly simple, but I really like it. So we're going to leave that like that. And we're going to pick another one. Hold on just one moment. Here we go. All these ones at the front are kind of getting cheated here, but we're going to just, it'll be all right. One, two, three, and it's going to be this one, but i got to get to it. Yeah, this doesn't work too well. I really do need to just put it on rings. It seemed like a good idea at the time. But then again, all I was doing was putting them in there at that time, not trying to take them out. Put this one back. What's left from Sandy? Oh, I need her, her little paper to put in there. Okay. Okay. This part. So we've got a postcard with a cat and this paper. I think that what happened here is I've already used part of it. Or this might have been like free gifts with a swap. Um, just checking the envelope to see if it says, and it does not. However, there are parts of this envelope that I want to use. Let me remove them, and I'll put them over there. Um, yeah, so we're going to use this stuff, and we're going to do something with it. Let me think for a couple of minutes on what we're going to do. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, I'm back. Um, this is uh, much later in the day. It's actually um, 8.50 at night. And I am back to finish up this art before breakfast. Um, so when we left off, we were working on this project. Uh, using some stuff that was sent to me by Jeannie Toth um, over on Junk Journals Crafts and More. And I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do. And I'm thinking of making a journaling card. Um, so I was thinking that we might put this right here in this, along the top. Like that, and let's just go ahead and do that. Like that, and then, um, And then maybe we will cut down the cat. Let's go ahead and glue. Well, hmm. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and glue this down first, although I'm tempted to use a piece of this orange on there before I lay that down or even to run it kind of along the bottom like a washi tape type thing and we could put the cat right in the middle. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's do that. It's not quite wide enough. Something just hit the floor. Oh, that's the, I got the rest of my Timu order today, which I'll finish filming in a few minutes. Um, let me just, I also stopped at Walmart earlier this morning, and while I was there, I picked up two more big bottles like this of glue, because mine seems to always and forever be giving me a hard time. My husband's so excited. He's been making boxes for, you know, dice boxes. Um, and uh, he's, he's made a couple so far. And um, he's so excited about it. But anyway, he was telling me, he said he watched a video and the person in the video was using this glue mixed with a little bit of water and a paintbrush to put it on. And he's like, have you ever tried that? And I said, yeah. Or he said, did you know about that? And I said, yeah. And uh, I said, but, you know, it does, you know, it, it works great if you're not trying to stick something heavy to something, you know, if it's just paper, like, because it's basically like decoupage glue at that point. But anyway, I just think it's cute how excited he is about it. He's always thought that, or I don't know if he thought that, but it always seemed like he thought that my crafting was kind of, you know. He's always been real supportive. It just wasn't his thing, you know. And now all of a sudden it's like, hey, this is really cool, this making boxes thing. I think he'd really like any paper art, really. But it would have to be, I think, something that was um, useful and purposeful as opposed to just artistic. But, you know, journals are useful and purposeful, so... I don't know. I could be totally wrong. He might not like it at all. But I just think it's cute. He's so excited about it. I don't really think it's very cute that he's in my craft room when I'm not here taking stuff out, though. That does not strike me as cute at all. I've got to be honest. I'm very, like, dragon hordish about my craft room. And it's like... Don't be going in there just taking stuff because you might get something I don't want you to. You know. But I don't say a word to him because he's so excited. I just sit there and fight my dragon urges. <laughs> Alright. So this is what we've got so far. And now I'm thinking we bring... Oops, I'm thinking we bring over the kitty cat. Let's go ahead and glue down the kitty cat. I hate them. Okay, what do you think? Yes? Okay, let's do this. I've been having such a good time with my swap journals. 
Um, I'm going to work on that. I, generally speaking, I, I do work on that, like, you know, without the camera on, which is weird because I don't ever work on anything, it seems like, anymore without the camera on. Um, but I have been doing some work in my, like, when I'm uh, watching some of my favorite YouTubers' videos or when I'm... Um, working on uploading a video, those sorts of things, I will be working in those because I can work in those and not film, you know. So, And so again, um, I'm just working on ephemera pieces that, um, you know, I can add to journals later using some of the stuff that's been sent to me. I don't think I'm going to want to put that on there because I don't really want to cover any of that up. Let's see, I could put it here on the back though. Like that. I could put it like, and I think I'm going to sew around this whole journaling card. Yeah, just like that. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and glue that down. So, I went ahead and sewed around it, which I think really adds some character to it. I'm going to come over here with this envelope, and we're going to ink it. Mm, before we do, hold on. Let's round the corners. I'm going to use a half inch side on my chomper. And we will. Just ink away, ink away, ink away. thinking about trying to do 10 of these projects and we can do this as our 10 for Tuesday for this week and so um, I may change my introduction a little bit and say hey look this is our 10 for Tuesday for this week it might 
obviously go up a little late since it's already Tuesday's almost over. But yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking it, liking it. All right. What else does it need? I've got these flowers that I paid 10 cents for at the um, thrift shop, and they would go well. So let's see. Pull them apart here. Let's just try just like that. I could put a little bling in the center. I don't want to cover up any part of that stamp or that bird, though. Hmm. Maybe like that. That's not bad. Let's do that. Um, however, let's use... I've lost the lid. And eventually I'll find the lid to the glue. to do that one. Okay. There's a second one done. So let's pull back out my book and let's choose another one. And I'm going to just choose before I open it. Okay. We're going to go with this one here by uh, that was sent by Tammy Fox Kinnerson. It says it's a Thursday wish. I have no idea what's in it because I haven't even looked. So let me close this up. And let's just take a look here. There's a good stack of it. All right. 
it says it's Thursday wishes. We've got um, an envelope and some paper. Um, we've got a note card. We have these three cards from a deck of playing cards. We have a napkin with flowers. Ooh, pretty fibers and ribbon. Oh, gorgeous butterflies. Yes, I'm liking this. This must have been, I must have asked for pink. Some pink whale tails. Some more pink ribbon. Look at these little bitty paper clips. How adorable. No way we're going to be able to, I found the lid to my glue. No way we're going to be able to use all this, so... Definitely this one will be going back. And then there's all kinds of goodies in here, including buttons and bling and little girl, little women dressed up. And, wow. All right. Let me think for a minute what we want to do with this one. Give me one second to consider. Just like that. Like that. And we can put this just like this. No, we'll definitely go with the smaller one. And we're going to just turn it into a tag. Um, we might use. Some of the fibers on it. Let's see. Again, this is from Tammy Fox Kinnerson. Let me get something to set this on while we ink. Um, We're just going to give it a little bit of vintage photo. Just make it simple. Mm -hmm. Remember, these projects are going to be simple ones um, that I can just add to my journals real quick. Um, and 
I mean, they're going to be beautiful, but we're not going to spend hours, you know, making them real elaborate or anything. Okay. Let's see. And then I think, yep, let's do it. Um, maybe I should ink it real quick. Move that glue out of your way so you can see what I'm doing. How's that? This isn't going to show a whole lot because it's a dark card, but it will give it a little something. I feel like I got something crawling on my foot. There's nothing there, but it feels like it. Okay. I'm liking this, guys. This is nice. What do y'all think? So I'm wondering if I should just like glue down the sides and leave this center open as kind of a belly band right there. Any thoughts? Mm. I think I might. And we could take one of these little paper clips. I 
with the paper clip right there on the wing. Or the hair on the body. Or not at all. Okay, let's see. Let's do um let's do now we could do a whale tail and we could put some ribbon through a hole in the whale tail. Let's take a look and see what we think. So we could do this. I kind of feel like it's a bit much though with the whale tail. I kind of feel like all it really needs is a hole and some of the fibers. Let's just do that. Mm. Probably could have done it with a smaller hole, but Yes. And we can take it and we can tie it in a bow. And then, just like that, this is what we've got. I think that's super pretty. Quite pleased with that. Do want to try just adding just a little bit more ink. And we're going to put everything back. Super cute. All right, so let's put that this one was sponsored by Tammy Fox Kennerson. Where did my pen go? Anybody see it? You guys looking at my pen going, Christy, it's right there. Oh, Christy. Does anybody see it? Sometimes I wonder if my son and husband hear me. And here recording videos and go, oh, mom's lost her mind again. No, I know they don't because they know I've lost my mind. Nobody has to tell them. I just found my pen. Put 
all of this back. All of this back, all of this back. That's one we'll get to do something with several times because there's a lot there. All right, let's see. Sponsored. 